It isn't just the UK variant of coronavirus that is ringing alarm bells. A new variant found in South Africa has got researchers getting down to work to understand how different it is. What's more, the South Africa variant has now been found in the UK. You're watching TV9 Digital, I am Adarsh Vipachedu and in this video, I will be telling you about the differences between the two variants in simple terms. Let us first start with the names of the variants. The UK variant is called B117 and the South African variant has been named 501V2. So what about the transmissibility? The South African variant is more effective at spreading from person to person than the UK variant. I must mention here, the UK variant itself was considered to be 70% more transmissible than the existing variants. So how much have the two variants spread? The UK variant is spreading rapidly in England and accounts for more than 60% cases in London. Meanwhile, the South African variant, on the other hand, was discovered through routine surveillance by the laboratories in South Africa. Initially, the variant was confined to coastal regions but has now entered inland. South Africa reported a sudden spike in the number of COVID-19 cases in January and the new variant is believed to be the reason behind the same. So what section of population is more susceptible to infection when it comes to the two variants? Initial findings have reported that the UK variant found prevalence among children. More studies are underway to establish the same. Meanwhile, the South African variant appears similar in this regard as younger people with no comorbidities are being infected. When it comes to the extent of mutation of the variants, it is being said that the South African variant is highly concerning because it is yet more transmissible and it appears to have mutated further than the variant discovered in the UK. Let's now come to the most important question. How do these two new variants affect vaccine development and vaccine efficacy? Research is underway to answer this question and scientists aren't really sure at this point in time. They need to test out the new variants in laboratory experiments, but health experts are confident that neither of the variants will impact the efficiency of vaccines that are being manufactured at this point in time. While I just told you the major differences between the UK and South African variant, there are also a few similarities, let me tell you. While there are several mutations that both the variants have undergone, one significant mutation which is called the N501Y is common to both the variants and may be the reason why they are spreading so fast. The difference is in the part of the virus that it uses to infect the cells in the human body. Another similarity is that both the UK and the South Africa variant involve changes in the spike protein which plays a key role in unlocking the doorway to the body's cells. In another similarity that could be termed as a silver lining is that neither of the two variants is known to be associated with an increase in disease severity or death so far. Well, bottom line is, no matter how many variants of coronavirus we may see, what works on ground for all the variants is a face mask and hygiene and social distancing. Make sure you're armed with these three weapons at all times. If you like the information that I've presented to you, make sure you like and share this video. And yes, subscribe to TV9 Digital on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Many thanks for joining us.